You can import transactions directly into your Zero checking account, and it's very easy to do. Here's how. Come right over here to checking account under manage. You'll see import a statement. Now you're going to see there's several options. You have all the standard notice. Um, you can even import a, a, a QBO file format, which is the QuickBooks uh, import type that you get from banks that support QuickBooks integration. But I want to show you how to use the downloader CSV template. You can click here and get a blank template. And essentially, you're going to get this. I've taken the liberty of adding a few columns here. Now, let's say I had a bunch of transactions I wanted to get in all at once. Maybe they were too far back in time to get it from the regular bank download, and I need to add it in so I can get my balance in zero set up correctly. Whatever the case might be, there are a number of use cases where this is going to come in handy, and I want to show you how to do it. So I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to fill in some data so you can see what this looks like. So I've gone ahead and populated the data. Now, a couple of things to point out. If it's going to be an expense, it needs to be a negative number in the amount column. And notice the file type is CSV. You want to leave that. Do not convert it to an Excel file. You can put in the payee and the description. And what I recommend you do, especially if, you have, you know, if, you, if you're going to do this, is go into zero and open up the check screen, as I've done here, and, the, and get the information so that you can see exactly how it appears in zero. Now, one thing important note about the account is that in the CSV file, all you'll want to put in there is the account code, the numeric account code. And if you notice, I've got that here. I'm putting all of these transactions in the same account, which is general expenses. The tax rate, on the other hand, needs to have the whole entire uh, name, which would be you know, tax on purchases here. So that's what that needs to look like. Um, I've got tax on purchases and everything else is pretty much in place. The other thing is, if you read the instructions, it uh, suggests removing any blank column. So for example, there's no check numbers here, so I'm going to remove that column. And then it's always helpful to just kind of resize all the columns so I can see clearly and make sure there are no blank columns left. Now that I've confirmed that, we're ready to import the file. So let's go ahead and I'll save my Excel file. And when it's in a CSV format, it's going to always warn you about using that format. Now that I've just saved it, when I close it again because it's CSV, it's asking me if I want to save. I'm going to say no. And now let's go back to import the transactions. So we'll go to the dashboard, manage, import, and we'll browse to my file, open, and import. Now Zero is going to give me kind of a mapping screen. So over here, I just have to go down the list and say, OK, description equals description, reference equals reference. And I've got it in the same order. So it becomes really easy. Notice they get grayed out as I use them, account code, and then tax type. And then I'm going to save. And it says nine statement lines were imported, zero were duplicates, nine were imported directly as reconciled transactions. So they all came in reconciled because remember the assumption here is that I'm importing uh, the bank account. So it's assuming that these are transactions that have in fact cleared. Um, now let's go see what these transactions look like. If I go to, let's just run a balance sheet. That's the easiest way. There's my checking account. I'll click on the, the balance. And I know at least one of them was a transaction on May 9th, which is today, 2015, the day I'm recording this. So let's go to the end. And here is May 9th. And there's my Staples transaction. Notice it comes in. I put EFT in the reference because you can't put it in the check number. So I use the reference for the EFT. And that, my friends, is how easy it is actually to import transactions into your zero bank account. Now, remember, they came in as reconciled transactions. So you have to make sure that these actually did clear the account before you import something like this. Uh, otherwise, it's going to throw off your balance per bank when you go to look at like a reconciliation report. So be careful how you use this, but it is a very handy tool to use, especially when you're setting up your balances for the first time on the account. And for example, you have to go back in time prior to, you know, to a point in time earlier than your bank will provide the normal download uh, format for. 
And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, uh, you know, use the demo company. You can go into the demo company and you can practice on that to make sure that it works the way you hope and expect it to. And then once you've practiced on that and you feel confident that you know how to do it properly, then do it in your own account. And that's it. As always, if you have any questions, post your comments below. I look forward to getting them. I look forward to responding to them. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you on the web.